Rocket the Yahweh. Rocket the Yahweh. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. All praises and every glory be unto Yahweh. By Hashem. Yahweh Shai. By Hashem. A double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace, love, salutation, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Ratazah, this lesson is edifying, you know, unto. You know, you Akim that are sincere, you know, you few sisters that subscribe into this truth, you know, that believe with your whole heart, mind, body, and souls, all right? You are looking, you know, for these prophecies, and you are patiently awaiting the return of Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, all right, to redeem us from this place. You know, now is it the time to look back, you know, now is it the time to be afraid, it's not the time to apostatize. It's not the time to abandon the faith. It's not the time to abandon the church. You know, it's not the time to lose hope, you know, and to be full of doubt or uncertainty. You know, it's a time to be confident. And it's a time to hold on to that confidence, you know, so that you can obtain the salvation, all right, through, you know, your faith. You got to, um, you know, Esau is working his works, you know, and he's, bringing certain things to pass in the earth and really it's the most high heavenly father that's working through him you know it's the most high heavenly father that that has esau doing the things that he's doing in the earth you know ultimately to judge esau and to bring him down but to also try us you know and things may be getting a little scary but you just think of this you know from this perspective if you turn away from this faith now you know what was the the, the, the point of, of, of going through all of that hardship and turmoil to get to the to this point? Praise God. And then also, just because you decide to turn away from this faith, that's not going to stop these things from happening. So through seeing these things happening in the earth, all right, and being written down in prophecy, you know this is the hand of Yahweh by Shemia Washai. You know, you know that these are the things that he foreordained and said what happened in the earth. Go ahead. This is Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So if you look back and you stop doing this work, you know, you, you stop looking at the videos, you know, to be edified, and you go back into the world, what, what the fuck is it to go back to? Uh -huh. You know, hey, we've sacrificed and given up, so, you know, not as much as we should <laughs> for this truth. Okay. But, you know, brothers turned down, you know, uh, a lot of things. All right. To get into this point. Hey, you spent a lot of the time when you first came into this truth, cussing people the hell out, man. <laughs> you know, your, your cousins, your auntie. Okay. Shit, you know, with family. Yeah, Over you you're going in on your family, your sisters, your brothers, your friends. Don't nobody want to deal with you now, man. Okay. <laughs> Every time you come around, you like the weird guy in the room. You know, the things, people get quiet. They don't know what to say. <laughs> they get a little uncomfortable. You know, they don't know how to approach you now, man. Okay. You know, Hey, some some brothers that went through certain things with, with co-workers or with their jobs and they found out about this truth But before you were into this truth, you were the man with them You know, they'll come to you laughing, joking Now they're talking behind your back, man So really, at the end of the day, what is it to go back to? Uh, That's the question And then more so now, you know, uh, um, asking that question Due to the fact that, look at what's going on in the earth you know, look at what's happening in the earth. So what is what is it to go back to? It ain't nothing to go back to, man. God. The only only thing that we could do is just go full steam ahead, you know, and to continue in this in the straight and narrow path. All right, which we entered into Yahawashai, which Yahawashai is the door, you know, and we and we're picked up our cross and we're following him. And Yahawashai is the way to everlasting life. So we don't have anything to go back to. Go ahead. John, uh, this is John 6 and 66. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then Yahweh said unto the 12, will ye also go away? Then Simon uh, uh, Peter answered him, 
sick, uh, uh, Lord, whom shall we go? To, to whom shall we go? To whom shall we go, Kai? Uh -huh. Thou hast the words of eternal life. Thou hast the words of eternal life. So these words, you know, through following them, you know, which this word is, is, is um, Yahweh Shai is an embodiment of this word. All right, the wisdom of the Most High Heavenly Father, he is the way to eternal life. God. So these words is the way to eternal life. You know, everything that you could possibly want in life, we're, we're getting ready to obtain. God. Yeah, If we continue on and, and be steadfast in his faith. God. So ain't no ain't nowhere to go, man. When you go to Matthews, the fourth chapter, it says that that uh, Peter, he left his father, man. And left his left his job to go and do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. God. And Peter asked that question. He said, Lord, you know, we have forsaken all. God, what shall we that. receive in the in the regeneration? He said, He said, You shall receive, what does it say, a hundredfold? Uh, uh yep, a hundred. Th those things that you walked away, those things that you left, you shall receive a hundredfold. So if you lost family because of this truth. You better believe you're going to get a lot of families. Hey, the scripture said that uh, a little one shall become a nation, man. Okay. And you lost a wife because of this thing? Guess what? You better have wives, man. You lost a job? Guess what? You ain't never going to have to work again, man. You lost money? Guess what? You're about to receive riches insurmountable. What do you, what, what can you, what can you, what do you want? But if you leave this truth now, what are you going back to? A, a world that's scared of the of the pandemic, the COVID-19. You going back to lockdowns? What are you going back to? This world is, is fading away, man. God. The scriptures say that the the, um, the the fashions of this world faded away. And there's so many different judgments that's about to come down. You got the famines. You got pestilence, you got more plagues, you got more diseases. You got uh, uproars and commotions. So if you walk away from this truth, guess what? You just, you just, that's suicide, man. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, 19, uh, Matthew 19 and 27. Then Peter, then answer Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that which ye have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in, in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribe of Israel. And every one that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold, and shall re inherit everlasting life and shall inherit everlasting life okay. and that's what we want we want to be immortal that's right all right with that everlasting life that that's comes power man okay. so we're about to inherit some beautiful things man okay. we're about to inherit some beautiful things and if you give up on on that now guess what you're gonna be destroyed the only thing you about to inherit is is, is uh worms man okay. hey. Thermonuclear destruction. There you go. <laughs> Death. Hebrews 6 and 4, Baba Kashaf. Okay. And I'll, I'll read this one. This is our uh, first Peter 4 and 7. It says, But the end of all things is at hand. All right, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. When you look up the word sober, I forget exactly the Greek word there, but it means to be in your right mind. Okay. Now is the time to be in your right mind. Uh, and oh, the scripture says it's high time to wake up out of the deep sleep. Can you grab that one, Baba Kasha? Uh, the end of all things is at hand. So when you look up the word end, it says the end of a certain limitation of time. You know, a certain time limit. So the time of what? The time of Esau Edom is 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 over. You know, and now it's being issued in the kingdom of heaven. Our kingdom, all right, in which we're gonna rule over. So, what does that mean? That means that you should be focused on on prophecy. You should be focused on this truth. You should be watching as well as praying. 
You should be occupying. That way you can you can uh, enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not giving up, dog. Huh? <laughs> Don't give up, man. God. Go ahead when you're ready. Uh, this is Romans 13, 11. Now, and and and, and that knowing that uh, knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. It's a high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah, high time, slacky. You know, so when you wake up out of sleep, you know you're waking up from 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 a dream. You know, and you and you're waking up into your right mind. See, everything that's going on in the world right now, this is just a nightmare. It's just a dream. God. Hey, the scripture says when Yahweh, you know, turned the captivity of Zion, we were as those that dreamed. Which means it, when we get into the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be like those that wake up from a dream, from a nightmare. God. You're waking up into reality. But right now we have a part of the kingdom of heaven, which is his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. God. So the kingdom of heaven has come unto us through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it's through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we're going to inherit a kingdom. God. Doesn't it say within the book of wisdom of Solomon that wisdom bringeth thee to, unto a kingdom? God. So if you keep following this truth and you don't give up, although things may be hard at this moment, you know, and we're in a, um, in a, in a, in a state of difficulty, in a state of adversity. Uh, These are things that we have to go through. Uh, These are things that was promised for us to go through. Did not uh, John, John, you know, which was Elijah in the reincarnation, warn us and say that uh, uh, Yahweh shall cometh to baptize us with fire and with the Holy Spirit? Uh, so that fire is that adversity. We have to be tried. We have to go through things. And when we go through that, that's how we prove to Yahweh by Shem you know, that, that, that we are right. God. Uh, and the scripture also say uh, through much tribulation we're gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ain't that's right. So you know, a a through much tribulations, a a troubles, a a, a, a it's gonna come upon us. God, hey, like that song says, too late to turn back now. God. I believe, I believe, I believe, I've fallen in love. And hey, you gotta fall in love with this truth, man. That's right. You gotta be in love with this thing. And if you truly love something and you become jealous for it, you know, which means that that nothing can separate your love for it. You you love it fervently. The word jealous becomes uh, uh, it comes from the word zealous, which means to have a fervent love. You you falling in love with this truth and you will not do anything to let it go, man. It got to be you got to have a fatal attraction for, <laughs> for this, this, this word, man. <laughs> God, <laughs> hey, you gotta be obsessed with this. You gotta thing. be with obsessed, bro. You know, hey, nothing else matters except this thing, this That's truth. Right. You know, doing this work. Go ahead. Uh, with, uh, for, Hebrews. For, uh, yeah, I'm uh, finishing off uh, on uh, okay. uh, on um, on um, Romans. Uh, um, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Yeah. So the end of all things are at hand. You know, now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. Yeah. And, and now that you see that this thing is coming to an end, what the hell are you going to go back to? God. Whatever you think you're about to go back to is about to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction and by the chariots of Yahweh Bashmi Awashai. So it ain't nothing to go back to. God. But there is something to obtain if you continue in this thing. God. And that's the kingdom. That's salvation. That's the God. crown. Man. That's laid up for those that finish oh, their course. Man. Hey, 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 that's what we were hoping for. To, to be hopefully of the hopeful elect or the one third. That's right. To be that's saved. Right. You know, nobody's saved. You know, that's the reason why we out there always in hedges every day, uh, 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 continuing, uh, doing videos. Uh, 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 because, hey, 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 we want to we wanna, we wanna be delivered. You know, uh, uh, this is Hebrews 6 and 4 for it is impossible for those. Who were once enlightened to have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good works of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come. And that's us. We, we tasting of the, the heavenly gifts, you know, of the powers of the world to come. Go ahead. And if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, sin, 
they crucified themselves, the son of man of Yahweh, so, the son of Yahweh afresh. Here it is. You taste it of the heavenly gifts, you know, and of the power of the world to come. And you got some guys that have tasted of that. You know, we all being in this truth have tasted of it. But then you got some guys that tasted of it and went back into the world. Uh, so how, how can you? Hey, that, that, that reminds me of that uh, saying. It says, uh, "Oh, what did Jay Z said it? He said after you've had uh, from from Le Mignon, it's kind of hard to go back to hamburger helper, man." Hmm. <laughs> So this truth is a, is a delicacy. You know, it's something beautiful, something great. And this is the power of the world to come. And you tasted of it, but yet, you know, you have those of, you know, certain people that fell away. You know, they were fervent for the truth. They were on fire, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. But now what are they doing? They ain't warning you. They ain't telling you uh, uh, um, certain things are about to go down in the earth concerning prophecy. Uh. They're not, uh, um, Preaching to you, Yahweh Shai. But what are they doing? They're settled on their lease. So to renew them to uh, 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 again, Yahweh Shai will have to come down here and die for them again. And he ain't about to do that. Huh? He ain't going on that cross for you niggas. That's right. Again, coming down here to, to die for your wicked asses again. Huh? Uh, uh, and put him to an open shame. And put him to an open shame, man. Go ahead. Huh? For the earth was drinketh. In the rain that cometh off upon it, bringeth forth herbs to meet for them by whom is dressed and received the blessings from Yahweh. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and and is nigh unto cursing. Those ends is to be burnt. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be those thorns, God. you know, that get burnt up and destroyed because you're God. going to be burned by thermonuclear destruction. Go ahead. But, beloved, we are persuaded better things of you that uh, and things that become in salvation, though... And things that accompany... Accompany salvation, mm -hmm. though we speak thus... Uh, thus through, speak. Th though we speak... We thus, thus speak. Thus speak. It's a like tongue twister. Okay. Uh, thus speak. Go ahead. For Yahweh is not a, a, a unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown uh, um, towards his name. Keep going. And that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence and the full assurance of hope to the end. Yep. That ye may not be softened, but followers of them through the faith and patience inherit the promises. So that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. You know, be followers of, be not slothful, but followers of those who through faith and patience inherit, inherit the promises. All right, because that's what we want. We want the promises, man. Okay. We want to be the hell out of here. Okay. You know? Okay. We so, want the rewards that come with Hey, look, what that sign say right there? That white sign. You know what? Right there. This ain't no turns, brother. I don't know how you missed that big old sign. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't see it, brother. <laughs> you know, My and that's, are that's just spiritual. You know, at the end of the video, we see a big old sign that say no turns. God. You know, so, hey, hey, look, there's another sign. What did it say? One way. God. <laughs> God. It's only one way, man. God. And, and you gotta continue on that on that straight and narrow path, and God. don't swerve to the left or the don't right. swerve to the right. God. Just continue on this path, man. Don't make no detours. Hey, hey, what the scriptures say: keep your eyes single. That's right. God, because any event that you do, and hey, you will be destroyed. So with that, hey, we truly hope that this lesson was edifying. Until the next time, inshallah.